Let's be you can use this, right? I forgot the name, specific name of this. Okay, so who could forget these couple? Um, Sakadas and Silanay, si Tatay. Without them, the sugar industry would have had, uh, wouldn't have been to where it was. Eh? What's this? I think this is cash registers. Register something like that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, don't touch anything. Something like that. This is the map of Tangerous Occidental. Tangerous Occidental here um, looks like it's a sock. Midjas, no? Sock. So, look at its shape. It has 21 towns and 13 component cities. Okay. So now you know. I love the shop here and there. Looks so nice. Antique, of course. Who is this? And what is this? Okay, so religious festivities, okay? Hey, iba iba. These are actually. Uh, Philippine costumes that they are trying to display here because this one is from Guimaras. This, is, this one is from Dipon City, some Bamba, right? And uh, that one is from Panghai Negros, Oriental. Benguet. Traje de Boda. Traje de Boda, which is more of like Maria flag. Traje de Boda, mermaid pattern. What is this? What are these? Golf memorabilia for um, Lupis, Golem, Cuenca, Silverio. I believe he was a true blue golf champion. Right, so he won all these trophies and maybe not to mention medals. I don't know, maybe. So he he was a real um talent, a genius. We call that a pro in his craft. He was a golfer. When you say golfer, golfer in its sense, a winner. What are these? Key collection. These key collection uh, came from the chest of Miss Marina Montinola Silva. So look at the key collection wherever she went. She had those keys. I saw some from Thailand. I saw one from Chicago. I saw she even had this eight Centennial Kalayan key chain. I got one. It's for the Philippine Centennial. So she, I think she's a good old grandmama who loves to um, collect all these uh, memorabilia. She has this crystal collection as well. Cena International, I don't know what to buy. I think this is pretty much enormous and um, so authentic, of course. Some of the keys really look like keys, large keys. Uh huh. And it looks good. Okay. So. I want to donate my uh, FB Live collection 
in the future to a museum. <laughs> so I will have this kind of thing also. Yeah, a chest for me, a corner for my under my name. <laughs> Ooh, this is part two of the Marina Martinoli massages. This is keychain collection. So, mind you, this is really fast. She had a lot of it, no? <laughs> Rhinestones, yeah, I know you're busy uh, working there, taking care of our dear patients at the Bayless section. God bless you, NKSEI people. See you tomorrow. Oh, I, I remember that kind of keychain, the one with um, the currency, yeah, the currency drawings, the currency designs. I used to have that when I was young. I love the the, the spoon collection. I uh, saw that one also in the Maguette. It looks like it, uh, but those were uh, all full spoon spoon uh, cubiertos collection. This one is a mixed one. I love it. Cutie pie miniature spoon and fork. And then miniature tea set collection. This cute, cute, cute. And look at this one. It's a spoon, fork, and a knife placed inside a miniature bottle. Looks gorgeous. I want to come back to this place and see each one of them again, over and over again. They're so cute. Look at this little Buddha here. We used to have a big one at home, but it's broken. I broke it. <laughs> oh, look at the table clocks, the grandfather's clocks. Lights, lamps, lampstands, lampposts, something like that. Who's the character there? I forgot the name. That guy. Mm -hmm. The cigarette cheek keychain collection. She also had that. And that is fantastic. She even had this mortar, a very miniature uh, mortar and pestle. Hi, Dr. Katasea. Hi. Yeah, Bones and NKSCI people. I love you all. <laughs> Little angels. Yeah. It was common in the 90s, the figurines. Yeah. Cute shoes and a pair of slip-ons. Very cute. Look at my look at my nail. Look at my hand. I mean my finger. So it looks like that. It's just just as big as my finger. This one here. Okay. I love those three. Kitty kitty. My eyes, all of these miniature wonders. Okay, let's go back to these um small version of the fans of the fan. So that one at the back there it looks it's a little bigger, but it looks really um authentic. I of course it doesn't match any of I mean it doesn't have a pair or I think it's specifically um just manufactured for one design. Uh, look at the miniature comb there. Where is it? Yeah, that's it. The jars of course, don't forget them. Uh -huh. And what do you call this? I think this is like from Burma or something. And the, the bell which uh, has a design of a G clef. Okay. 
Okay. Am I staying too long here? They are so beautiful to look at. Forgive me. Okay, so is that your house? Uh -huh. I wonder if it's still there right now. I think so. Okay, so I can get over to this, the, the second one, the antique fan here, which is really strong and I'm faced by, by rust. <laughs> it, it, oh my gosh. It's like the storm here, the wind, you know. It blows me away. Had a good time here traveling that back down memory lane in my past, the past of my grandparents and my parents. And in this cute nook here, in this little nook here, it tells a lot of Negros Occidental, my hometown. So what do we do with the bell? The bell, ko kung nasa jahan ko ya. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Shampre, may ano gidi my recollection of how happy I was being here. Oh. Okay. Welcome. I feel it's taking so long. On for more of the surprise. So I'm gonna cut here, cut it here, and then I'll resume the show. Furthermore, in a while.